keeping a close eye on the skies and live Doppler 13. <laughs> Check this photo out. Mm -hmm. Boy, this live picture here looking uh, at downtown Indianapolis. We've got some, uh, some soakers out there. Yeah, it really kind of tells the story why some areas of yes. downtown have rain and other areas do not. We had it at the station, yep. you didn't have it at home, and your wife's not happy she about it. She's not a happy camper, <laughs> and that just shows you that picture right there sums it up. A, a couple of blocks could make a difference between mm -hmm. a half an inch of rain mm -hmm. and not much at all. So, yeah, and yeah. Our, our yards and flowers really need it because uh, it's been dry. We do. We've had, it's been 11 days since we've had a radar are like this so hopefully you'll get some because if not I'm telling you I think we're gonna have another long stretch run here mm -hmm. uh, rainfall certainly and it was coming down pretty hard this is I-70 at Minnesota Street that's uh, 70 westbound by the way that's a car that hydroplane that they're pulling out of the ditch there uh, again this was a setup just like typical Florida time summer weather hit and miss but these storms We'll have some big time hit to them here. Uh, you can see Johnson County just getting absolutely hit now. A lot of lightning, uh, likely going to have some wind gusts exceeding 40 miles per hour and some hail with some of this over Whiteland now, over toward Bluff Creek. These are slow movers and usually what happens is they build up, rain themselves out, and then they spawn some new thunderstorms. And that's what we've been seeing northwest side of Marion County there uh, toward uh, Eagle Creek, Brownsburg. Again, and as we look down toward the south there, Martinsville, uh, toward Morgantown, and that storm that's over Johnson County now is sending out what we call an outflow boundary. So that light likely will be a focal point for additional storms. This will continue uh, until we get toward sunset, and that's still uh, about three and a half hours away here. 85 Richmond, near 90 degrees there, away from the storms. In Indy now, we're at 82, dew point of 60. Look up in Tipton, sun shining there, so it's the type of pattern that we are in right now. Sunset, as I mentioned, at 9.06, we will have additional thunderstorms around. Tomorrow, what I think is going to be happening here, that axis of storms that's centered over the metro area now gets pushed toward the uh, west, and we are going to have a temperature of about 90 in the afternoon tomorrow. Here's future track 13, so what I'm trying to tell you is the odds of rain tomorrow are going to be lower than today. And that will be about it. Here's your uh, seven day forecast. We are circling Friday and Saturday for the two hottest days in the seven day forecast. But even Sunday is going to be up near 90. It will just be less humid. And that will be the theme early next week as we will see temperatures starting to drop. Stay with us throughout the next hour. We'll keep you updated with Live Doppler 13 radar.